Yeah, so I filed everything, went through uh, Obama, and um, and then the next couple of months came through, and he denied it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Okay, so you in here for six ounces for life. Mm -hmm. But you in here and you, what did you, what was your plan to try to get out? Was there any other out plan for you? Well, when I, when I came in, it was no like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, ha I mean, when I got locked up, life sent him, I, I, all, all I said was this, I'm, I'm gonna make the best situation that I can, you know what I'm saying? There's hope. Did you ever think you would ever get out? Yeah, because I know I haven't killed nobody. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in here for killing somebody, I'm in here for some drugs. And you thought I know I'm, justice I knew, will prevail at I some point? I knew I'm gonna get up out of here one day. And you didn't know how? I just didn't know how. Because I don't file, I don't file everything you can file in the court system to get out. You and educated it, yourself. Oh, ain't no doubt. In yeah. law. Uh, yeah. And you wrote tons yeah. of writs. Yeah, yeah, I did everything pro se. Everything pro se. I didn't get no help for nobody. Everything, trying to fight and get out. Every, everything. Even, even when I found, I mean, uh, uh, the Obama thing, because it got a lot of people out of prison. Yeah, but during that time, did you have thoughts in your mind like, because there was a lot of people being released for drugs that they were overcharged, right? You remember that, mm -hmm. and you in your mind felt like, dang, this might be my opportunity where I can get out of here, right? And so, what did you do? What was your steps to try to get out during that time? So what I did was I filed some paperwork. You know, um, uh, uh, first step. I mean, uh, first step back and all that to uh, you know trying to get you know get out of. That's what prison. the first step. First yeah. step back. Yes. Yeah, so I yeah, So I filed everything. Went through uh, Obama, and um, and then the next couple of months came through, and he denied it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, first thing he says, uh, I don't deal with a. Well, you know, and then you got to understand this. A lot of that paperwork don't even get to him. Exactly. People already signing it and making their decisions, what they gonna do with you and stuff like that there. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people, they don't even want you out of prison. These guys is coming up. They do all types of stuff, but they keep you in there. And people don't know that, they hustle for you. You know wow. what I'm saying? So that's what happened to me. And uh, that's just like when I came home, I didn't even have, uh, it took me, what, uh, almost four years to get a social security number. <laughs> wow, but I want to. I, I really want to. I want to stay on that. On that. On that. Obama time when he was trying. When you was trying to get out. What did you? When did you know you wasn't coming home during his reign and the things that he was trying letting people out on? Obama. Um. Uh, he denied. On that first. I, I was. I, I was denied. They brought me some paperwork. My uh, case matter brought me some paperwork and uh, it had a about this much had a list of all the guys that Obama not messing with. And they let you know why. So I had a piece of paper on, sitting on the top, you know what I'm saying, and never seen it. But I've been hearing about something floating around, you know what I'm saying, and I'm charged for six ounces of drugs. Why is I'm being, um, why is I'm being um, talk, talked about like I'm a drug dealer kingpin? I got all this stuff. And they got the paperwork, everything right on top of here and denying me of some lies that I don't even know nothing about. I, I don't got charged for six ounces, but y'all not, but, but, but Obama, go, they gonna tell me that I'm, we, not, we not dealing with King Ping Drew. Why is I'm, why is I'm, why is How'd I, you become a King Yeah. King? You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing stating that in out. your paperwork. There ain't nothing in, found in my paperwork, you know what I'm saying? So what they do is accumulate all this stuff on you and make up what they want to make. They do that as well. During Obama's reign, you so, was considered a kingpin, and that was the reason why they denied you. They denied me. That guy still got the paperwork. Wow. But they, with these, I still got the and paperwork. And it was only six ounces of drugs, six ounces of uh, crack, and you had never been convicted of anything prior to that. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's crazy, man. Right. That's right. crazy. Yeah. I don't understand why they could, how they could deny you. If you, you didn't have no previous charges. Yeah, I, no, I, I mean, not major. Not like that. Peon stuff. You know what I'm saying? Ne uh, never had a, a convicted felony or nothing like that before that. Yeah, I had, I had one. I had one. Yeah. I had what did you have a convicted? That was a, uh, 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 that was a uh, assault with a deadly weapon. Okay, nothing yeah. comparing to the drug no, charge. No, no, nothing like that. But assault with a deadly weapon. And uh, do you think that charge right there 
because it was it was definitely in the paperwork too. You for assault with a dead. Do you think that's one of the things that deterred uh, Obama and them for letting you look out? Could be. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, uh, not this. I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't think so because, like I say, I know. I know my case and stuff like that, and I. I don't. I don't see so much stuff that going in the system. How these people work, bro? It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? With Kanye be telling people that this stuff really going on, what they doing, this stuff is real. It's you know real. I know people up in there they, they ain't never coming home. These people, they put, they get rid of you, ghost you. What, it, name an incident where you know some people who ain't never coming home and they ghosted them. Well, it's like it's this guy out of Florida, his name is uh, Corey out of Florida. Good guy. Man, him came in the system like almost the same time. You know what I'm saying? They did the same thing with him, but they tried to put him in a cell with a with a fag for real. You wow. know what I'm saying? A, a, a DC fag, and uh, he ended up killing him after multiple times that he told him that he don't not trying to go up in this cell. So he Corey ended up killing the guy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but they set it up like that though. So you you saying that the system because he was one of the ones the federal a, system yeah, the federal said, prison system yeah, yeah, set, set him up in there with the guy that uh, because that, uh, he rebellious so they do that that's what they do they set you up in all types of levels so they put him up in there with it because the guy was homosexual mm -hmm. and had him to go in there and the guy ends up killing him what did he end up stabbing how many times did he stab him? he stabbed him probably about six times six times and he ended up and dying the, uh, yeah and the guy was going home in two days. Mm. The guy that was the, yeah, so that's wow. why. So they end up giving him a life sentence. Wow. Yeah. And and so he'll never get out because of that life. Yeah, sentence. He still stuck. Did he uh, before that? Did he have a life sentence? Uh, yeah. Did he have a life? Yeah, Corey had life. Corey had life, he and had they life. gave him double life. They pretty much yeah, gave him another gave him life. Him another sentence. life after he killed. The, he you know, he got, killed the guy up in there. Wow, man. And no. and that could have been you because when you stabbed the guy 16 times, that could have been you if that guy would have passed away. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.